What's up guys, it's Omar with video number four of my video series and today I'm actually trying something a little bit different. As you can see, I'm outside in a park. It's called Parque del Sur, about five minutes away from my apartment. And uh, I got out of class about a half hour ago, so I started to walk over here and get this video done. So just to give you a quick update, uh, my classes are good. As of right now, the workload has slowly been increasing up to this point midterms are in about two weeks i think right now and i have two actual midterms and then two papers that i'm going to be doing as far as extracurricular activities i've been going to an international club which is super interesting you know when you get to meet people from all over the world that are also in the same position as you are so it's a good way to meet new people as well um i've also been going to uh, language exchanges which are basically just the same thing as international club but with a little more of a social atmosphere to go so those are outside of Nebrija and it's a separate association but still super interesting and they're done all over the city one trip that I went to recently that I greatly enjoyed was one that I went to kind of on a whim it was uh, to Porto in Portugal with three of my friends that I met here at Nebrija and it was a super awesome experience except for the fact that it was the first time that I had been in a country where I had no idea the language that they were speaking. I don't know anything about Portuguese and certain words I could pick up on but for the most part I was completely clueless about the, what they were saying or uh, the words were completely different because it was in English or it was in Spanish and it surprised me because it's right next to Spain so you would expect them to speak Spanish as a second language but it's actually English. That's the second most popular language in Portugal. So that was a super interesting experience that I'm glad I got to have and I'll continue to have as I travel to uh, other countries in Europe this month. So just to walk you through a regular day uh, in my classes, um, I have class around noon at the earliest and I'm done around 7 p.m. at the latest. I have class Monday through Thursday, like I mentioned in my previous video. So, you know, uh, I go to class, have a little break in between. I get to eat and uh, you know relax for a bit, finish up some homework, and then go back to class. And I have Friday through Sunday off, obviously. So it's super nice. It's a nice routine, and I'm glad that I got the schedule that I have because I do have a lot of free time to explore and do uh, extracurricul extracurriculars as well. So it's been interesting to see the different dynamics in the classrooms that uh, that I have. So for two of my classes, it's very small classes, about 13 to 15 students. It's very personal, very hands-on with the professor. And you get to know them very well and you know they get to know you and you help each other out. And it's a different atmosphere than you know if you were in a lecture hall and it's just 200 students and a professor speaking to a mass. And it's a way different experience and I really, I do enjoy it, it's very different. And for my other two classes, um, which are the ones that are in English, those are actually the larger ones and it's about 25 to 35 students and it's still super interesting because there's international students as well as mostly students from the US so you do get to interact with uh, people from different backgrounds from people from different nationalities and it's a great experience a learning experience as well um, actually I've had a few presentations with students from international uh, backgrounds and it's great to see you know how you how you exchange information, how you communicate. So I feel like that's also a great experience to get to uh, learn about different cultures in the process. So along with the classes, it's also been really interesting to experience the activities that go hand in hand with them. Like yesterday, we went to the Genera Trade Fair for my international marketing class, which is a trade fair based around renewable energy. And we got to speak to different companies and firms based here in Europe about how they're working to progress their sustainability as well as they're you know, making their products more affordable and how they're working to expand it throughout Europe and also in the States as well. So that is it for today guys. Thank you so much for watching and make sure to stay posted as I continue to upload videos on this channel periodically throughout the next couple months. See you next time.